Hey guys, Avi here, and welcome back to Bullseye, creating our first iOS application. Now I know what you're thinking, we've done so much, what's left? Honestly guys, we're done, okay? We have a fantastic application, it's our very first iOS application, and I hope you've had a lot of fun making it, but honestly, I don't want to leave it without changing up the UI just a bit. This is a very basic iOS application, okay? You could ask people to use it, they might like it, but there's no color, there's no nice font, there's no big text size, and it doesn't look that great. So right now what I'm gonna go ahead and do is I'm gonna go ahead and modify our elements, make them a bit bigger, make them the constant font size, make them look good, and then after that we'll be done with this iOS application. So go ahead and see what I do. You don't have to copy me, you can do whatever you want, but I'm just gonna go ahead and work through this application and change up a few things, okay? So go ahead and open up this pane and select the view, okay? Right now we have this red icon, let's go ahead and see what it's talking about. Um, and it's telling us that we have a few localization issues. Okay, don't worry about them for now. Um, they do come with constraints, it just depends on how you do them. And I want you to select this view, and let's change the background to be a specific color. Okay, I like aqua, so I'm gonna change my background to aqua. Okay, so now we have a blue application. The next thing is, blue and blue don't match. Okay, our blue text for our buttons can't be on our blue background. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do is select our play again button, change its text color to white, okay? So now we have a white play again button, and I'm gonna make a constant font. So my favorite font on the Mac system is Futura, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and change it to Futura, make the medium, make the size 20, great job. So that's that, and let's go ahead and increase the size so that we don't get the three dots, great. Now, one thing you're gonna notice right now is that we have this plus 43. And basically what it's saying is that, hey, you set the constraint for the width to be a certain amount. However, the width of this label is 43 pixels more. So what we can do is we can go ahead and right click this bottom right icon, which is a triangle, and update constraints. And what this does is we just say that, hey, whatever the new width is, just go ahead and set the constraint over here to be that new amount. Fantastic. So we updated our play again button. The next thing is to update our massive label over here, which tells the user what exactly are they supposed to move the slider to. So change the color to white, change the font to custom, Futura, and let's go ahead and make this uh, 30, or we can do 40. Let's do 35. Okay, there we go, fantastic. Now we have our slider, and for a slider we can't really do much. Um, you could change the tint, you could change the background, there's some stuff you can change, but honestly it just depends on what you really want to do. So by changing the tint of our slider, we're able to change that sort of color, which shows how filled it is. So you can make it blue, you can make it red, green, whatever you want. I'm going to go ahead and make it white, just to get the white and blue standard theme. The next thing is going to be the check button. So the check is going to be white color, system, Futura, font, and let's go ahead and make this 24. Okay, hit done. Let's go ahead and increase the size, center it, and update the constraints, okay? And now we have our label. So our result label, again, has to be the exact same format, white, Futura, over here. And let's go ahead and make the size um, 24 as well, okay? So there's that. And then we have the last two things of our application, the exact mode and the exact label. The exact mode should be white. We should have custom, we should make this Futura, and we should make the size, let's make this 20. Fantastic. Let's go ahead and increase the size and center the label again, update the constraints, and that's it, guys. So that's how you would modify an application once you create the view. So when you're creating iOS apps, you have something known as the MVP, the Minimum Viable Product. Now, the app we had before, this application is the MVP. It has the basic functionality. Does it look good? No but that's okay because the app works. Whenever you create an MVP of an application, after that, you wanna go ahead and modify the UI, make it look good. So what we ended up doing is we finished the MVP and now we modified the UI and we made it look much, much better. Even though all we changed was some font and some colors, I can honestly say that this is a fantastic bullseye application. Now there's a few things that are wrong. One of them is that our slider label um, font size is a bit big so that's what we have a dot, 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 which is receding. So what we can do is we can go ahead and decrease the font size just a bit. Let's go ahead and make it 30, run this again, hit stop. Let's go ahead and see the font size now. Build succeeded, 
And over here, we now have move the slider to 21. Great job. So I'm gonna go ahead and say that this is 21. Hit check, play again. Okay, so the last thing of the change is over here, whoops, you missed, try again. This label is being cut off. So what we can do is we can go ahead and make the font size just a bit smaller so that it fits in the required sort of space. Hit run. And now we should have our fully functional app with a fantastic UI that you can definitely show to your friends. So move the slider to four. I'm gonna go ahead and say that this is four. Let's go ahead and try the exact mode. Hit check. You were right on point. Bullseye, play again. Great job. So this is our final iOS application. I hope you guys have had a lot of fun making this app. I know it must have been hard learning all this stuff. It's a lot of new things being thrown at you. But trust me, with practice, with experience, iOS development becomes a breeze. In just a few apps and just a, over a period of a couple of days, a couple of weeks, you guys will be amazing iOS developers and you guys will be publishing apps here and there. So just stick with it guys. iOS development is a lot of fun. Congrats on making your very first iOS application. If you've had any questions throughout the series, don't hesitate to ask. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you in my next iOS development series. Thanks so much for listening, and I'll see you then.